I think what needs to change is we have to talk much more to the we have to we have to get into a marketplace we have to really make sure that science is realized for its full economic potential I still think science is viewed by many as a luxury or scientific knowledge is viewed as a luxury and not as something that is absolutely critical for this earth and its its uh, future and so in order to do that we have to start to not only persuade the politicians and the policy makers but we have to persuade the your the general public that this is this is not just something that we can basically do away with when economic times get hard it's times when economic times get hard that's the time we have to really bring the science to play in the whole debate about how we manage our landscapes well I'll do it through um, through farming associations forest associations the the the, the or even the extractive industries, work with the businesses that own the land, the businesses that are currently buying up the land for oil palm plantations, for example. We should be working with the oil palm managers to say, OK, how are you going to manage this land or how can we help you manage this land in a way that's beneficial for biodiversity? Now, that doesn't take a government and doesn't take a policy. That takes working with the individual uh, landowners and, and also providing the tools that they can then use the solutions we're creating for these big global issues is first of all to, to create tools and technologies that people can then use to determine where to, where to um, preserve and where for biodiversity and where is less important for biodiversity and it can be used for other, other land use um, requirements such as biofuels, food, etc. So the big messages for me are that it is possible to conserve biodiversity beyond protected areas and we are developing the tools and technologies to do this. Now we need to get those tools and technologies into the hands of the people that are making the, having the biggest impact on biodiversity and it's that, that is the thing that we need to now work on in terms of working with landowners, the governments, the politicians to make sure that we can turn this around.